Hello, crafty friends. I'm coming in with another project for Design Team Outlet. I've been having so much fun working with their products. I love all their little embellishments. So let me share with you, first of all, the products that I use. So I use these little jewel bling strips, and I love that it's not all one thing. They're individual strips that have the sticky back on it already, so that's really nice. As you can tell, I cut mine up so that I could... Um, and fit it onto my project a little bit better. I like that you can just easily do that and there's no issues. Okay, then I also use these really fun sticky back stars. Isn't that cute? Perfect for Halloween. So let me show you what I made. So first of all, um, I want to let you know that I started off by using my paper Wicked Waves and I'll have all the links down below for everything in the description box. But um, I got this cut file from Etsy okay and so first of all um, I tried to do some different sizes because I was thinking okay I might do like a little stack box thing but then I was like okay um, no I'm not going to do that because I am trying to boo my neighbors right so I'm trying to come up with little things that I can put like little Hershey kisses in or some jelly bellies or something like that and so this little box is a perfect size so I even went larger because I realized I couldn't really decorate that much on these smaller ones, right? So I might just kind of like add that in the little bag, you know, so this one I might just add um, some more flat backs or something on here to kind of decorate it up. But, you know, they are kind of um, small to work with, right, when you're trying to really do embellishing. Now, so also I forgot to tell you, I did use the KS Craft um, bottle cap. And I use the smallest ones, okay? So I did that so that I could um, stack them on top of each other. So that was really fun to do. And I also use this little um, spider web. I'm not sure where this die came from, but I just want to let you know that I did use that. And it is super cute. So let me show you what I made. So as you can see, I made the box much bigger <laughs> than the last time, right? I went up probably about another inch. And so I'm really happy with this. Let me tell you the, the size of this. So this one is um, three and three quarter inches wide. And the height is about a little over one and a half. Yeah, so about one and five eighths. All right, yeah, five eighths, one and five eighths, okay? And um, so what I did was, is I thought it would be really fun to use the bottle cap die. I popped, I did this one, I actually layered this one a little too much. Um, and now it's kind of too hard to go back, you know, to turn around and, and take it apart because I used glue. Okay, guys, and when I mean glue, I used my glue gun. So as you can see, I still have a little strings coming out from the glue gun. But, um... The next one, I did it a little less layered with a foam tape in between because, as you can see, I kind of stacked it in there. But um, the little flag right here, the little flags came from Cricut, okay? So if you are a part of their Cricut membership, you have um, ability to get any of their free designs. And so I thought, okay. So I did that in two different sizes so that I could stack it up and, you know, use more color. And... Um, then again, I use my Wicked Waves paper to create the bottle caps along with my favorite Park Lane paper pad that I call the poolside colors is really what. And then I also created this fun little file. Um, it's layered. So in the first one, I have the boo where it actually has the holes already put in there for you. And then the second one I created as a background. So I thought that was really fun. Now, I will mention that in Cricut, I went ahead and added a window to this box, but I think that I would just not do that because I'm actually covering it up and you can hardly even tell it's there. But I just thought it was super cute. Here's where I use the little um, gems again here. And then, of course, my little star from Islet Outlet. And then here is on the inside. See, I don't like how the glue... You can see the glue and the tape. And so, yeah, I'm not going to do that next time. But anyway, I still thought it turned out super cute, guys. I just added um, a little bit of shred shreddies in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add my candy in when I'm ready when I go get it. And then again, I did the same thing on here, except that, as you can see, I took out the extra steps 
of layering the flags with foam in between. And then I only did one set of foam, well, two actually, two underneath, and then one in between here. So it definitely, yeah, as you can see, look at how high that is. That's, that's a big difference. So I kind of like this little size better. And then I just added in some purple shreddies. Um, I use my doodle bug um, ephemera, Halloween ephemera. And then again, here we go with our little sparklies. Love the bling. Love, love, love. Anyway, guys, I hope you all like this little project. I will have the link down below where I got this file. I think it was not even 70 cents. Okay, guys. So it's a really fun little box to use and you can make it bigger or smaller, however you want to do it. When you get in Cricut, it, it doesn't matter. You can use Cricut Silhouette, Brother Scan and Cut, any kind of cutting machine you can do this with, okay? So guys, don't forget to visit Islet Outlet to get your embellishments and I will be seeing you all soon and I'll have all the links down below in the description box. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye guys.